this video we will show you how to design a surgical guide in 3Shapes Implant Studio. This step comes after the implant treatment has been planned. On the left hand side you have the available guide design tools. You can choose between different sleeve types. In this case we will use the predefined Manufacturer Original Sleeve. Choose the sleeve type by clicking on the Select Sleeve button. Find the desired library and click on the preferred type. The position of the shown sleeve in the 3D scene is based on the implant position. Please check the offset between the sleeve and the implant shoulder. The sleeve offset is defined by the implant manufacturer and therefore a range of different offsets is not always available. In cases where the sleeve collides with the surface scan, the sleeve turns yellow and it must be evaluated if this can be comprised during the surgery. For example, by compressing the gingiva. To adjust the sleeve height, pull or drag the control points. Optionally, you can add glue channels to the guide by clicking the glue channels icon. The glue channels will appear on the sleeve. You can adjust the glue channels position by dragging the blue points up or down. The software sets the insertion direction of the guide automatically, but can always be changed if needed. From view, we'll set the insertion direction based on the direction you are currently viewing in the 3D scene. Auto will reset the insertion direction to the software's automatic setting. When you are ready to start creating the surgical guide, click on the green plus icon to add a patch. The patch will define the outline of the guide. Draw the patch by clicking points on the surface scan with your mouse to connect them into a patch or by clicking and dragging your mouse to draw a line. Finish the outline at the point where you started. The starting point turns yellow when you can click it to connect the beginning and the end of the patch. A surgical guide can be created from several individual patches. If this is needed, just click the green plus again to start drawing a new patch. You can adjust the patch by simply drawing a new line, which the patch will correct to. You can choose the manufacturer specific settings from the drop down menu. The default settings for thickness, offset from teeth, retention amount, and offset from sleeve can be modified within the tolerances allowed by the specific manufacturer. When you want to visualize the guide design, Click Preview to calculate your result. You can add different elements to the surgical guide. Click the sub-step, Bars and Windows, and then from the menu under the green plus, select either a viewing window or a support bar. Support bars are used to add material to the guide where reinforcement is needed, and to create a design that will be better supported during manufacturing. The bar can be adjusted by dragging the green and red control points. Viewing windows open up a small part of the guide by removing material. This allows you to evaluate the fit of the surgical guide and to check that the guide is fully seated on the patient's existing teeth before you start the drilling procedure during surgery. Viewing windows are also adjusted by dragging the control points. To remove one active object, click on the minus icon. To delete all objects, click on the red cross. Click on Preview to see the final result. You can also add an ID tag to the guide, so it is easily recognized. Go to the sub-step ID tag. You can add any identification name or number onto the surface of the guide. For example, an order ID number or the patient details. The ID tag will appear near your cursor. It will turn red at the places where you cannot place the ID tag. It will turn green where there is room for the tag to be placed. You can adjust the size of the ID tag and you can also add multiple tags if needed. Once you have clicked on the guide to place the ID tag, it will turn yellow to show you the final position of the ID tag. To visualize the final ID tag, click the preview button. 
With the ID tag placed, your guide is ready to be produced. Click Next to proceed to the approval step. You have now learned how to design a surgical guide in Three Shapes Implant Studio. In order to explore the full implant planning and surgical guide design workflow, please watch the next video in this series. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.